Hi, this is Alan, aka Folknology. You probably know me as Folknology on the XCore forums. What I'm going to do today is have a look at the uh, new development kit from Xmos because my new toy has arrived. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to look at today. We're going to have a bit of an unboxing with this puppy here. This is the XCore analog slice kit. It's a bit like the previous slice kit, only this has a uh, mixed signal on it. So if I look, let's see what we have inside of here. Okay. Well, first thing, we've got a universal adapter. Put the UK plug on this one. These are quite nice if you're moving around to different countries and things. You've got all the adapters here. Makes it easier for their bit of materials as well. So let's put that to one side. And some cables here. We've got a Ethernet cable. And a USB cable. Oh, in fact, that's a USB extender. Look carefully there, look. That will be for the X-Tag debug. Um, so what else we've got. Here's the uh, X-Tag board. Okay. Ta-da! This is the same as the other X tags that you find for Xmos product development. But in the slice kit you get an extra bit which adapts it to fit into the slice card here. I'll talk more about what that bit does in a minute. In the two Give us inside. What else have we got in here? Okay, we've got some slice kit peripherals. This one is the Ethernet slice. Very cool. So it enables the uh, slice kit to talk to. Um, Standard Cornell Garden Ethernet. That's useful for doing, you know, TCP IP stuff or AVB. Or EtherCAT, that kind of thing as well, I guess. And next we have Okay, we have this is the new piece, this is the mixed signal card. It's a little joystick here, which is kind of cool. You can read and the joystick and the headers there. And finally, we have the analog slice kit. Yay! that. It looks very similar to the uh, older slice kit. Size, not much on there. But here. Four slice sockets. One, two, three, four. Circle square triangle style. And then you've got your deb debug socket at the top. That's what that adapter's for. To enable you to plug the X tag in thus. Now, one of the reasons that this adapter's on the X tag, not just to adapt for the D 
debug slot. But if you look carefully, there's also a switch on here. There. And that enables you to disable the buffering of the output channel from the A series here, which is used for X scope. The reason that you might want to disable that is you might want to use the pins for something other than Xscope on here. Um, and Xscope enables you to buffer data back to the debugging system in an efficient way. It's a really good way to move the um, data actually. Much better than moving it over the JTAG, for example. Okay, so what I want to do is have a look at this and compare it to some of the other development kit. Um, you may be familiar with this puppy. Yeah, you get old Xbox start kit. This new little starter board. It's kind of cool because you get the. Uh, you don't need an external X tag with this. It's got uh, half of the dual tile um, chip here is used as a built-in debugger, which works over the USB. So this is basically a two tile USB chip, but you only really use one of the tiles for your program. The other tile is actually used to debug it. Very clever. Um, but again it has a slice kit, uh, sorry a slice socket on here and you can see I've got a, a board in here. One of the problems however with the uh, start kit is unfortunately you've got this kind of, you've only got one slot which is a bit limiting. You know, if you put your ethernet or something in there you haven't got any other slots to play with. You do have a few extra IOs of course here. Um, the other problem is it's upright, vertical, right angles to the board. That can be a bit awkward really. Now this is the previous original slice kit. Again, very similar to that new analog slice kit. Let's put them side by side and see the differences. In here. Okay. Just going to zoom in on these a bit so you can see them side by side. Some of that glare, sorry. Right, so here you can see they're very similar in dimensions. The um, analog slide kit is actually just marginally wider than the original slice kit board, it's actually slightly wider there. In terms of height, they're pretty similar. In terms of arrangements of slots, again, they're the same. Star, star, triangle, triangle, square, square, circle, circle. So it's very similar. Some of the differences, however. Um, from a debug point of view, um, if you want to attach multiple slices together, what you do well, certainly what you did with the old uh, slice kit here is you have the J tag coming in here, or the X tag, sorry, through the board, and then it'll come out there. So you'd actually daisy chain them together. So if I pretend these two are the same, daisy chain them like that. Now, that's a bit awkward. Let me just zoom out a bit so you can see it all. That is a bit awkward for a shape. Um, because of the way it goes across. It would be kind of better if we could stack them on top of each other. Just, just set this up. And then your X tag will go in the top here. Like that. So it goes through this slice and down to the next slice, etc. 
Now, if you tried doing that with just analog slices, you'd have a problem because I just changed the route round. On the analog slice, you've now got this mixed signal uh, slice socket at the top. And that's going to impede this slice here, the socket here on the first one. So you'd be losing two sockets by adding another board on in the analog case, and that would be a pain. It's not very good or efficient usage because you're losing some each time. Not only that, but this slice is very diff difficult to use here because of that. You effectively lost that one as well. So by adding another slice, all you're gaining, you're adding three, but you're losing one, two, three. It's not really much of a gain. So, um, one of the good things that uh, has changed on here, you can notice it. Let's get some more light on this if we can. Can you see at the top there you have the chain socket, which you don't get on the original slice. See? No chain. Nothing there. And what that chain enables you to do is take the debug chain out from here over an IDC cable to the next board. So then you could literally have slices on top of each other like that or beside each other or around this way and then use an IDC cable between them. And that is much more flexible. Much more flexible. So that's one of the big advantages on the analog slice that you don't get on the original slice. Other things to notice here is this chip is way bigger. You know, this is a uh, 217 pin BGA, 0.8 mil spacing, and this is the old double row QFN, which is a real pain in the ass to design with. Um, this is easy for routing, much easier, I found. Um, the other great new thing, of course. We must miss out is that big slice on the top is what this is all about there is for your mixed signal slice so as well as your four digital expansion slices here you've got this lovely analog slice at the top Doo -doo. we can use our uh, pot here our joystick and our buttons etc expansion that's really rather cool. I can't wait to move away from using this one for a bit and start using this puppy. So let me just show you what it looks loaded up to the max. Put the J tag on to have our Ethernet. Add in another Ethernet because we can. <laughs> no, we don't need two in this case. Let's put in our other comms thing on this side. We've got a RS32, 322 port, and some GPIO headers, which are kind of nice. Um, let's use one of my boards. This is my PyBot board, which is quite handy. Let's see if I can get a bit more. Right on this. So on here, primarily buffers and stuff and GPIO, duck and drive, small unipolars with this, or LED, or A's, seven segments, all sorts of things like that. So we can put that one in here. Ta da! And I use these quite a lot. This is my Patch lice. These are great for just mocking things up, putting on buttons, uh, LEDs, uh, dip chips, breaking out pins and headers for displays, that kind of thing. This I use it quite a lot when I'm exploring projects. <laughs> Ta-da! There we go. A fully populated analog slice. How awesome is that? 
Right guys, well, um, can't wait to get a, some stuff running on here, but I will leave you with that picture. Ciao.